as designers, we're constantly juggling projects and creating all the time, which can make it difficult to stay organized and productive. If you're anything like me, implementing the right systems and having the right tools is the key to staying organized, efficient with your workflow, so that you have more room to generate creativity. I'll be sharing my top five free productivity tools I use as a designer that I have been utilizing in my workflow, which has made my life so much easier. And did I mention free? Free is nice, especially in this economy. Some of these do have paid plans if you wanna to upgrade to like the more premium features, but for the most part, they are all free. The first tool is called Save to Pinterest, which is a Chrome extension tool that allows you to save any images from any website to your Pinterest boards. So if you don't use Google Chrome and you use Safari or something like that, stop please get Google Chrome. It just makes everything so much easier. So if you just Google Save to Pinterest, download the Save to Pinterest Chrome extension, which is completely free. As you can see, I have it here. It just makes it super easy for you to save any image from any website to your Pinterest boards so that you can quickly access it. So let's say I'm on a website like Design Inspiration and I'm just looking for inspiration for a certain creative project that I have. Let's say I want to go into 3D typography and I'm scrolling and I'm like, ooh, I love this image right here. I actually want to save it to my Pinterest board. When you hover over an image, it'll have a little button that allows you to save it. You can save it to any one of your Pinterest boards or create a new board and then it'll automatically save it. So next time I'm on Pinterest, I already have this image saved. Normally, if you're on a website like this and you wanna save it, it'll ask you to sign into your account or make you create an account. And it's just, again, too many extra steps that I find is not necessary. I love this extension and it just really helps mitigate the steps that I normally would need, such as right clicking it, saving to desktop, putting in a specific folder, and then creating a mood board folder, and then have to upload those images on a third party website. So this one, it just takes out all those steps, which I love because it saves me time and keeps me in my creative flow. The second tool is perfect for organization, productivity, and project management for creatives. And no, it is not Notion. But this app, just imagine if Notion and bullet journaling had a baby together. That's what this app is, and it is called Xtiles. So Xtiles is a productivity app for creatives to stay organized, yet still have a creative workspace in their style, whether it's for personal or work stuff. It is a lot more UI friendly and visually appealing, and I just love how much more flexibility and customization you get from it compared to Notion. I used to bullet journal a lot, and one of the things I loved about it was how custom you could make your pages. So in Xtiles, you can custom size your boards by simply dragging and dropping and i especially love this tile style option where you can change the color and stylization for your tiles now when you create a new tile you can add anything like to do tasks text media tables lists and so on your tiles are free to move around anywhere on the page which makes it a more flexible workspace. I'll be honest, I was a little hesitant when X Tiles first reached out to me to do a sponsorship video because I only wanna endorse products that I actually believe in and use. And I came from using Notion, which I have been so used to in my workflow. And there's always like a slight learning curve whenever you're migrating to a new kind of workflow. But I wanted to give myself some time so that I could kind of immerse myself into this app and see if I would actually use it. And within these last few weeks, I can honestly say that I love it more than Notion. It has everything Notion has, but better. It's more visually appealing, which is great for creatives and visual people like me. And it's just much more flexible and I don't feel as restricted. It's very intuitive and easy to use as well. Their design, the layout, the UI, Everything about it just makes it really easy to just get yourself into it. There's also so many pre-made templates that you can duplicate, use, and tweak to your liking. There's like just so much inspiration from what other creators have made. And I just, I just love how I can stay organized while being able to customize things in my style. Literally every category you can think of from personal planning, productivity, education, if you have an agency or a team, marketing, design, brainstorming, onboarding, sales, meetings, consulting, task management, project management, they've got it all. So here's a design project template that they have. And one of my favorite features is probably these color-coded tabs up top here, which makes it just easy for you to flip in between different pages, right? But there's a little cool feature with these tabs you can actually group them together. For example, if you're like on Google Chrome, you have like all these tabs open, right? But you can't like really group them together. But this one, you can group them together. 
I, I think that is such a really neat and cool feature and it makes things a lot cleaner and more organized and I just love that. Like I said, I'm a very visual person so having an app like this is so fun and cool to implement in my day-to-day -day workflow and I honestly wouldn't be endorsing them if I didn't like it and believe it in myself. It's been so useful for me and I hope it'll be useful for you too. Try it out with the link in my description and let me know how you like it. Tool three is colors.co. If you ever have trouble choosing color palettes or even wonder if color pairings you chose are actually the best choices, this website's for you. With this website, you can do anything from exploring color palettes, generating your own palettes, extracting color palettes from images, contrast checking, previewing palettes on your designs. And I didn't discover this until recently, but they have a free font section as well. I'd say one of the coolest features that they have is the palette visualizer where you can see the color palette you chose applied onto design so that you get a better look of what that color palette will look like on websites, illustrations, pattern, logos, icons, all that good stuff. This next one is for all you type enthusiasts or if you ever struggle with finding the right font pairings, this typography resource is for you. FontJoy helps designers choose the best font combinations so that you're able to kind of mix and match different fonts to find the perfect font pairing quickly. They have three sections, one for the header, one for the subheader, and one for a body copy. And there are like hundreds and hundreds of fonts that are available for you to test out. And I love that they give you like a visualization of how the fonts would all look together so that you don't waste time creating those text boxes in Illustrator and kind of matching up the text and seeing how they look. This really takes that time consuming process and cuts it down in like less than half the time. So let's say there's a certain font that you like for the header, but not the subheader or copy. You can actually lock that font and then keep hitting generate until you find something that you like. And then once you find a font that you like, you can click the name here and it'll actually take you to the link of where you can download that font. And I believe they're all free from Google Fonts. There's also the slider where you can kind of adjust how much contrast you would like between your fonts. So sliding it all the way to the left for the highest contrast, all the way to the right for little contrast, and in the middle for a balanced contrast. You can also change the text so you can see how your text would look in that certain font. You can also switch from a white to black background. Just really, really cool. This last tool is like the Google for creatives. I mean, we all use Google already, but what if Google had design inspiration from all the top websites, all curated in one place? Well, I'm here to tell you there is such a thing. It is a free Chrome extension called Muzz.ly. It allows you to view inspiration daily on your search engine page. This is a free Chrome extension tool, so all you gotta do is download it. And it's a great way to stay on top of the latest design trends, news, culture, and inspiration from all sorts of creative mediums. Oftentimes, I find something innovative and learn something new, which sparks other ideas and inspiration. From graphic design, UI, UX, 3D, visual arts, illustration, and more, they have it all. It's also not just images, they have videos on there too. But having everything in one space and not having 10 different tabs open on my Google Chrome has been a really nice addition to staying organized. That about wraps up the five free productivity tools that I use as a designer. Hopefully you guys found a tool that you found useful to use in your workflow. And let me know if you have any other tools that other designers will find useful in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, peace.